So this is part three um, of the um, SAR mission UPDM analysis uh, demonstration. Uh, and uh, as you recall from part two, uh, we had a simulation configuration uh, from Monte Carlo and we wanted to have a histogram and so uh, when we ran this particular analysis um, uh, we would see the, uh, the, the results as each one of the variants uh, would, would it's each one of the runs would complete and you could see there were a certain amount that were out of spec at this point in 200 runs were about 15 percent out of spec uh, and so and so that's great, uh, but what we want to understand is how do we uh, take advantage of the tool and uh, how do we come back into this Monte Carlo and how do we do that with an instance table. Uh, so what we're going to do in this case <coughs> is uh, uh, we've already made uh, two instances and I'm going to make a third, but let me make the instance table first. Uh, so I begin here by creating a diagram and do instance table. All right, so here's my instance table, and what I want to do uh, is I actually want to the classifier for this instance table will be the SAR Monte Carlo analysis that we built <coughs> in in the last uh, in in the last part of the the, the, the last video. And so you see that I've got a Monte Carlo analysis block. Uh, it uses the pattern, the Monte Carlo analysis pattern that came with the simulation toolkit. Uh, it has a component of the maritime SAR. Uh, it has a, you know, I'm not going to re go into those things. But so it's this guy here that I'm going to use as my uh, classifier. And so I can just pull him over here and say, this is the classifier. Now, what I want to be able to do uh, is I want to be able to um, uh, now take a, an instance, and so I need a scope, and I'll show you how to make an instance in a moment, but let's take a look here. So I scope uh, my instance analysis, and what I've done is I've made a, a uh, and so you can see the first instance, <coughs> uh, but what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to change out uh, uh, the cost of the helicopter per hour and so I'm going to go into columns and select columns and see here's my maritime SAR uh, that's my co and I can go into the helicopter and I can look at the helicopter hour price okay and so you can see I've got 2,000 I've got 3,000 uh, as instances the original had 2,500 so let's say I want to run that as an instance as well. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to come here uh, and uh, to the uh, to the analysis block, and we want to go to tools, and we're going to create an instance. And uh, in this instance, we're able to we've got this maritime SAR, uh, and we want to. Uh, uh, we want to change the value of the helicopter and so we come down here to the price you can see it was 2500 uh, and so in this instance I might put 2500 uh, hit next now it says where would I like my instance to, to go now this is great because you if you've got a package that's predefined then all of the instance stuff is going to go into that package so you can delete it when you're done and so I've got something in instance one and instance two package. So I'm going to go to instance three uh, and hit next. And it gives you an option to create a diagram, but those are kind of messy. So I, I always don't do that. And I hit finish. And so now you see I have a, an instance that has a SAR helicopter price of 2500 uh, and uh, And then if I wanted to do... Uh, uh, a graduated, I could put $2,250 uh, $2, per hour, uh, but this is enough. Uh, and so uh, what we can see is now I have my instance table. It has these, uh, these values. Uh, now let me go back to my Monte Carlo analysis. And what I want to be able to do is uh, 
to have a, a put my put this instance table as my result and so I come over here and I can see my um, result location and so I'm going to pull my instant table I think I have to go into the I think I have to go into the specification of, of the uh, instance table uh, and or into the into the simulation configuration and there's my re re and so I'm going to go grab my instance table and say put him here all right so that's where my result is going to be uh, put put in okay uh, and um, so I'm ready to run my instance table so in the original I hit the SAR Monte Carlo and I can select this and I can come over here and I can say run with that SAR Monte Carlo analysis configuration and so it just begins to run and um, and, and so I can do enough a number of what ifs right now uh, the no magic uh, tool will only do one instance at a time uh, but if I had other variables that I wanted to uh, to change out, maybe I wanted to mix variables uh, and, and, and that kind of thing. Uh, let me stop this and cancel that. Uh, and so you can see when I did 29 runs, I had 25% out of spec. I had a mean of 2,894 uh, with a standard deviation, and, and that was that one. So let's say, uh, what if I could drop the price of my helicopter per hour to 2,000, okay, because I've got this out of spec here. So I just come up here, and I run the same thing. Uh, I'm running it with the SAR Monte Carlo analysis configuration. This is the interesting thing about instances is we can create something and then we can have us an instance uh, and so it'll begin turning uh, and what you'll find is uh, or at least we have found in earlier runs is you see that out of spec number uh, remains zero uh, and so it just shows that uh, from a from a, a Monte Carlo perspective uh, if I can if I can reduce the cost of my helicopter per hour by either getting a better engine or you know th things like that, I'm actually able to uh, uh, to keep the cost down to where I could then offer this service uh, to uh, others uh, at a at a fixed price. And so let me cancel that, and you can see that this uh, uh, I ran 57 runs. There was zero out of spec, and I could run the next one as well uh, to see. And we know that one would be out of spec, but let's run it just for fun. Uh, again, just come to the instance uh, table, uh, run with that Monte Carlo configuration. So we set up the, the, the first thing was just a DoDAF described uh, uh, set of, of activity diagrams and states. Uh, we had some requirements, we put some parametric diagrams together. Uh, and now through the use of an instance table uh, and instances, uh, we can do various what-if analysis uh, to, uh, uh, to support our system engineering.